Hi guys, welcome to another video and welcome to a planner DIY video. Can I call it like that? Because today I wanted to share with you a couple of ideas that I have uh, had in the last days when I was collecting all these beautiful pictures that you are seeing here, but also wanted to share with you what I have been doing with these pictures. So here I have a stack of dividers in the personal size. I have another in the A5 and I have a couple of pictures and a couple of old, I can say, um, calendars. So before throwing these out, and I do have, as you can see, beautiful calendars because over the years, I always like to purchase different calendars. I have here some more see that's quite delicious I have another one from 2017 with the flowers I have one from 2018 with flowers and these are with puppies as you can see there so let me just explain further before you throw away these calendars you can use the pictures so what I do I cut this area here where there is the month and I happen to keep these pictures over here. So finally, the result is something like this. You see how beautiful these pictures are? These are for sweets. And then I also have flowers. I have quite a lot. As you can see, I have many, many pictures and I do keep them. This is very beautiful. I do keep them between one year and another because you never know. I can do uh, dividers and I can do quite a lot of other stuff with them. So let me explain. If you are going to do dividers, you will be needing, first of all, to decide on what your sections will be. So you need to take a paper and decide on what sections you are going to include in your planner. For example, here I have a section for calendar, I have another for my to-dos, projects, finance, work, and then I have notes, brain dump, contacts, and miscellaneous. So the process starts by you taking a paper and the pen and writing what sections you want to include in your planner. Then you will have to count those sections. For example, I need to have, I don't know, um, here I have one, two, three, four, five, then I have six, seven, eight, nine. So in this pack here that I have created, let me just show you, I have nine sections as you can see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sections. Then whatever planner you purchase, there will always be a set of dividers. So here I've taken nine dividers from the file effects uh, ones that come into each planner. So I have six and then I would need to have another three. So if I had to set my dividers on these ones, I would be taking six and I would be taking another three. So I am going to be using these as stencils for my dividers. And what you do is very, very simple. These types of calendars here, and I do believe there are worldwide like them, um, they are perfect because for the personal size, as you can see, they are a perfect size um, like the Filofax dividers. And what you need to do is fold them. So if I am going to create a divider like this, I simply have to fold it very well so that it would be from two sides, put the file effects divider onto it, trace around it and cut. And then I would have created one like this. Then I proceeded to do the lamination of each and every divider and I have just 
um, placed labels onto each tab so that um, I would label it according to my list. Punching the holes and you will be having your dividers set with beautiful um, colors, beautiful pictures, etc. And it would be also sort of a system to recycle beautiful pictures and also your calendars. So that is the first idea of how you can use your old calendar pictures. Something else that I have done um, is creating dashboards with them. And if you are going to create dashboards, it's very, very easy because you again take the Filofax divider. Instead of cutting this area round the tab, you choose to go straight down and you have a complete page without a tab. I have purchased these pen holders from eBay. I have attached them, some washi tape on the side just to decorate further, punching the holes and you have uh, your dashboard. You can obviously not attach this pen holder and just keep it like that so that you can keep, uh, I don't know, your sticky notes and whatever. I think I do have others like that. As you can see, this one here does, uh, doesn't have anything attached to it. It's just uh, holes punched into it, a beautiful picture, laminated, and I use it as dashboard. So that is another thing that you can do with your calendar pictures. Some other things that I have done. Here is an A5 with a sort of a page marker with a tab on top. This one here is again another one in the um, personal size. I did not do a tab. I have done this one with my computer. So first I have found a good picture that I can use as a background picture. As you can see, I have uh, made uh, set up the colors to be quite light so that I can then write onto it. And I have used simply a word processor from Microsoft Office. I did not use any particular uh, software or whatever. It's very, very simple. I have written whatever I wanted. So I have here my daily routine and I have a message for every day. And at the top, I have just created the sort of tab. Um, again, it was another picture from the internet. I have printed it out and I have placed it into the laminator. And at the back, I have another um, picture. If you don't want to fold the picture like I've done, maybe you want on one side, you want this picture and on the other one, you want this picture. It's just about selecting where you are going to position your um, stencil. So maybe I want only this part of the picture. I would simply position it like that some clips so that the pictures hold together cut around it and I would have simply that area that interests me for the divider I would be gluing the pictures once cut one side to the other like this and then I would be just laminating the pictures um, together so that I have from one side I have a picture and from the other side I would have the other picture. Something else, a couple of ideas today. Um, I do have various page markers as you can see. This is just um, papers um, that I have purchased. I had a scrapbook and I basically cut out a couple of pictures from it. And then I have also something else. Um, whatever I have done with these pictures over here for dividers in the personal size, it can be done with the A5 size. But this is also something else. I was browsing the internet and I really found a couple of pictures. Um, I googled planners and this came up. Um, otherwise, I have googled, I don't know, cartoons, whatever. In this case, I have googled O's. And all these pictures basically came up. They were free. I have simply um, copied them on my Word document and 
as you can see, back to back, laminated, and I have used the Filofax A5 dividers, which are these ones here. I have traced again around them and I have basically created my own dividers. So you can create page markers, you can create dividers, you can create um, dashboards and you can create whatever markers you want. I have also created page markers for books that I am reading, not only for my planners, um, whatever. I mean, you just have to choose um, what type of creation you want to do, but still use whatever you have. I am trying to basically just come up with ideas of things that can be done so that I don't miss anything um, from the DIY projects that I really want to be doing. There are a lot of things that you can do with these pictures. Some of them, I can tell you, can also be framed and attached to walls because they are very, very beautiful. And I don't know, you just have to be creative. Um, but as for dividers, I really was very, very happy because my planners, I can tell you, have been very beautiful so far. This is what I have created with all the calendar pictures that um, I have collected from year to year. And I can assure you that I will be creating even more. You see, I have been using this set here, I think last year, most probably. And I really liked it, as I said, the fact that I had a uh, colorful planner, it gave me a little bit more of motivation to go through my to-dos, especially when I do have a lot. So it is just out there. You simply have to get ideas, use what you have around you, try to recycle stuff, because this is also a, a form of recycling. And I don't know, it's just so easy to be creative and to create your own style in whatever you do. In my case, it has been being creative with planners. So I hope that you have liked this video once again and that these beautiful ideas, because they are beautiful pictures, um, are something that will help you to create your own style, will help you to enhance your planners and make them more beautiful. And as usual, until the next one, take care. Bye.